Hello everyone, Argzy here, and you're joining me on No Creek Farms. I'm um, just in the dairy barn and just cleaning up a little bit of this spilt feed. So I have the broom here to run along and get that all out of the way. So we'll just get that job done. Right, perfect. Put the broom back over the fence and uh, we'll just head out here. So we've got a few things planned today. Um, before we get into those, I just thought I'd show you we've replaced the gravity wagons. We've got these uh, J&M wagons, which are by JHG Modding. Uh, slightly bigger capacity and also a lot shorter, so they'll fit in underneath the auger on the gleaner a lot better. So that's one change we've made. And the other one, uh, I had a look last time. We had some beans still showing up in the bottom of this auger, and uh, I actually moved it and the beans actually went into the bin so if i just look on the our storage page you'll see we've got almost three and a half thousand bushels whereas we finished when we last put them into the bin we had 3130 so we've actually ended up with about 350 bushels more than we thought so that's a bit of a bonus uh, we'll certainly generate a bit more income and well, once that price gets up around that $55, $60 a bushel, we'll certainly get as many of those sold as we can. Uh, but first things first, I'm going to go and uh, get the field we mowed the other day ploughed. So uh, I'll just go sort the tractor out, get the plough, and I'll see you down there. I've got the 8960 out. We've got the plough here on the back. Uh, I'm just going to try. I'll do the first few rounds, but I think I'll set this up to get a worker to do the majority of the work. But... Uh, so I'll just see if I can set up a course play course to do that. Uh, if you remember last time we got the mower working on here, so we had uh, saved a course. So I'll go through the course generation. Uh, first though, we need to jump back in here and load the course. So this is, I think I called it field 29. It's the latest one that wasn't numbered, so we'll load that course. Go in here to the course generation, you'll see We've got the outline of the field, and that was the outline mode last time. So if I then go to currently loaded course, all right, there we go. We'll put a headland on. Do three rounds for that. We've got the tool width sorted there. Uh, we're going to start work on, I'll say, headland passes, uh, just because I wanted to find the edge of the field, and uh, we'll generate the course from there. So that all looks pretty good. So if I just go back, and I'm just going to close that for now because as I said I'm going to drive the first few rounds. Uh, obviously we have to have create fields on for this so I don't want it to go too haywire. Alright so there we go, we're ploughing up the grass and making this field bigger. This is a nice progression in the farm to hopefully Help us generate a bit more income and get that dairy herd size up and also get some new machinery. So I'll uh, just time lapse this for a little bit and catch you up soon on uh, what else we've got planned for today.
Well, there we go. I've been around the field a couple of times, and you all have seen I've tidied up the uh, transition between the existing and the, the new fields, so we get some nice straight edges or smooth edges. So I'm just going to uh, just pull up the course here, see where we are, and uh, see if I can get the worker going. So if we go for next closest waypoint, which will hopefully be on the uh, third headland pass, there we go. We'll set them off there and see how they get on. We'll just watch them for a little bit. Everything seems to be going alright so far. I was a bit worried that my overlap on the headlands might have been a bit different to the worker. Uh, I didn't quite get them on the third headland pass. So we'll be getting some up and down rows now. That's alright, we'll come back afterwards and get that all tidied up. But meanwhile, let's go and head off and get the next tasks underway. Oh, I'm here in the 4240, just getting the sprayer hooked up. Uh, we have some weeds we need to spray on our small cornfield. And uh, so I'm just going to head down and get that done very quickly. Uh, and then once we're done there... I think we might jump into harvesting the oat field over the road. I was going to do the corn first, but uh, I've had a friend on another farm, Farmer Taz, who uh, gave me a shout the other day to see if I had any straw that I could spare. So uh, if I get that, the oats harvested, get the straw bailed up, I might send a load off to him. So uh, we'll see how we go with that. I'm just getting unfolded down here at the corn field. Uh, we've come in down the bottom, just thought it'd be easier to get started on a, a long row rather than coming in the other gate halfway up uh, so we'll just get the spraying done as quickly as we can and then we can go and get the combine started up Just getting the last little bit done here. It's just a very narrow strip we couldn't quite catch in four passes. That was uh, certainly pretty quick to get that field sprayed. So we're just about got all the weeds done there. Right, perfect. Let's get that turned off, fold it up, fold it up, and I'll uh, see me right here next to this gate. I'll just sneak out this way. Looks like we got into this field while the uh, plants were still small enough and we haven't done too much damage which is good. We'll just head back up to the farm and we'll get the uh, combine going. Just pulling into the oat field, we've got the uh, truck set up over there so when we get full we can go and empty out. Just going to get the combine unfolded, get the heater down, turned on and get started. Make sure we've got Dropping a uh, swath, no, we'll just change that, there we go. A bit hard to bail if we didn't do that. So we'll get uh, get around this field and see how many oats we get out of this. I think the price was actually looking alright at the moment for oats, about $40 per bushel. So I may even consider instead of putting this in the uh, bins, taking it straight down to the sale point and getting it sold. It's probably the way it's yielding may only be a one truckload out of here anyhow so we'll see how we go and make that call when we have to
point in here to unload for the third time uh, you'll see the 8960s finished uh, plowing that field up so I'll go over and uh, just sort out that little bit but the worker's going to come over here and carry on with the combining so that should work out well I'm just going to jump out and have a look in the truck and we're not quite 50% full so we'll certainly get the whole field in, in one load so there's no need for me to rush off and get any sold which is good just as soon as this is finished emptying here we go we'll get the worker going and I'll go and sort out the rest of that uh, field and tidy up the edges that didn't quite get picked up alright so there we go the workers on their way and very nicely of them they parked right here next to the field so it's not too far to go Alright, that's our ploughing all finished, so I'm just getting the plough folded up. Uh, it certainly made a big difference to the size of this field. I'll just show you on our uh, field data. So you can see the section there and the colour that's ploughed. When you compare it to the rest of 28, it's probably 50% you know, bigger than it was. So it's uh, certainly going to make a big difference. I'm going to leave the plough on the tractor because I think we might head over and try and get a field 18 ploughed. It needs ploughing down there. Yeah, so might go over and uh, try and get that done later on but uh, we'll go and see how the combine's going and uh, they'll probably be just about due to unload we'll head over there in just a sec as timing would have it the workers just told me they're about 80% full so uh, good time to get the truck up here beside them and unloaded while the auger's on the right side would have been a bit hard if they'd got to the end of the Field. Just uh, bump the cruise control back a touch there. So we'll get them unloaded and then I think I'll uh, park the truck up and run over and grab the baler and start getting some of the straw picked up. Got the baler out of the shed. Looks like we've got a little bit of hay still left in it but uh, that's not too much of a worry. So I'll uh, start getting some bales going in this field, getting the straw picked up. Uh, I'm not sure how many bales we'll get off here. We do need to keep some for ourselves. Uh, we we've got some still for the TMR. Well, obviously we don't need it for TMR, but uh, for the bedding at least. But uh, I have been using it to pad out the TMR. But uh, we do need some. But there will certainly should be more than enough here to uh, send some up Farmer Taz's way. Not sure when he's going to send his truck over. I think he said he was going to arrange for someone to come and pick it up. But uh, I'll get in touch with him once it's all bailed and tell him it's here waiting for. Him. worried that was going to happen uh, you'll see the worker down there literally has 
a third of a width of a header and uh, two thirds of the length of the field to go but has a full tank so we're gonna have to run the truck down there get them unloaded and uh, then they'll be able to finish off and there we go that's the oats all harvested the 857.5 bushels so I'll just have a quick look at the price and it's around 41 dollars so I tell you what I think I will go and uh, get this load sold and uh, we'll get some more money into the bank account So we're just getting this tipped into the sell point, watching our bank account go up. So that load brought us $35,000, so that's not a bad little money maker there. We'll get back, get the truck put away, get the combine put away, and then finish getting that uh, field all bailed up. I'm back out here with the baler going, I got the uh, truck parked up over in the shed and the combine out of the field I've left it over there in front of the workshop it needs a bit of a clean down and uh, I thought I'd do that at the same time as I uh, take the baler back over and give that a wash once we're finished here but anyhow I am just going to carry on and get all of this field bailed up so I will uh, touch base with you again soon finished getting all the straw baled look at all those bales out there crikey this last little one emptied out it's only uh, half size but so these are plenty of straw there let's just have a quick look and uh, 
Let's see how many we've bailed. 49. 49 bales out there, so. Plenty of straw. We'll get, uh, give Farmer Taz a call and tell him that that's sitting there in the field, so if he wants to send a truck over, we'll get it all loaded up for him. Uh, but I'm just going to pull up here, quickly get these two bits of kit washed off and put away and it'll be the end for today. Alright there we go, everything nice and clean and put away in the sheds, ready for their next adventure. I uh, hope you all enjoyed that episode of No Creek Farms. I enjoyed making it for you. Uh, but I'm just going to go in. It's almost lunchtime and have a bite to eat. So I will catch you in the next one.